Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel, a cup of beautiful coffee in the morning, hmm, wakes you always up, and today's video, of course, five amazing Bitcoin charts, really cool charts I've never shown before, a trading tip, travel tip, yes, talking about the news, as again, there was a news item about Argentina that you really want to hear, and yes, of course, ending again with some live advice, because I love to talk about Bitcoin blockchain and live, that's the most important thing, of course, of live. Now, let's quickly jump into the charts to show you exactly what is happening to Bitcoin, and if we can really expect that pullback below 40k that a lot of people want to see or that we are just going sideways and going to pump up very soon to that 48 50k level again let's see what the charts have to say bam the first chart for this day guys is the day chart every candle is one day we can see that that trend line that we had over here, so like even if we take the wicks for example, we can also take the wicks to show you uh, that we have broken that trend line. We even tried to get above that trend line again, you can see that as well, um, beautifully there, that candle, we were um, rejected. Now this next candle, maybe we'll try it one more time. And if we get again rejected, that could be of course the sign that Bitcoin will be going lower. That of course in combination with on the weekly chart that I showed you the shooting star guys that is a bearish reversal i told you yesterday yes we can go up for one or two weeks before that we drop down but there's also the possibility that we already drop down guys and for me the biggest support is of course between the 38k guys and that 40k level there is a massive amount of support if we break that level 38k to 40k we could fall all the way back to 31k and why because for example if you look on this chart over here guys let's see we take the gaussian channel that gaussian channel top at the moment is 31,255. if you look at the previous bull market the 2020 bull market you can see we went up over here and then we came down and retested the top of that Gaussian channel. So we broke out and we retested it. So we broke out, here we retested it. We go up again and again, we retested the midline. And again, we went up, maybe we will retest the top again over there at 31K. That is what people expect because it looks a little bit like the 2020, uh, the 2017 bull market. Look over here, we broke out. We retested it, we came up again, we retested it, we came up again, we retested it, we came up again, we retested it almost every time the top around that Gaussian channel. And that is why people expect now that if we break the 38 to 40k level, then we could fall back to this top level of the Gaussian channel that of course every day will be increasing. Could also be 34k or 35k, is depending on how many 5-day candles it will take, guys. Now let's zoom out and look at some more important charts that will show you why your emotions will always play a role in a bull market. This is the first chart. This is the bull market corrections from 2011 to 2013. We can see in that bull market we had a correction of 40%, of 41%, one of 70% and even 71% that was the bear market, guys. If you now look to the next chart, it's the bull market corrections from 2015 to 17. We had a 33.4% pullback, we had a 29% pullback, another 29% pullback, another 36% pullback, another 34% pullback. And in those pullbacks, guys, please understand, we went from $200 all the way to $20,000 US dollar. So if you zoom out, you understand, hey, we went from $200 to $20,000 US dollars. If you zoom in, you are like, oh shit, another 30% crash. Oh shit, another 29% crash. Oh shit, another 29% crash. Oh, 36% crash. That's the difference. Now, the next bull market was, of course, 2018 to 2021. In this bull market, we had a 27% crash, a 43, 49, 62% crash, of course, the COVID crash. Then we had a 22% crash, and then we again reached the top of almost 70K. And how did we come there from 3K? Yes, because we need some crashes to pick up the new liquidity. This is a normal structure of a market. We go up, we come down, we go up, we come down, we go up, and we come down. Beautiful charts. 
Now, this bull market from 2022 to 2026, in my opinion, will be the bear market. We already saw a crash of 18% and also a crash of 17% and again a crash of 20%. So it's not strange to see these crashes. If you will now see again a crash of 20%, maybe even 30% from 50k, 30% would bring us to 35k. That's a possibility. That's not freaking out. Then you should be accumulating more Bitcoin because you understand that the bull market has just begun, that the halving still needs to take place and that there will be a top in 2025. So if you would see this crash now of 20% or 25%, whatever level it would be to 38k, for example, then sell your car, buy more Bitcoin, buy back two cars in six months time, because yes, we will go up after these crashes again. That's not the end of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is not going to die. It's just a healthy way the market moves. Going up, coming down, going up, coming down. Plan B cycle also showing you guys we are exactly on track. We are still with blue dots. That's still the accumulation phase. The moment we turn into red dots, we know that the bull market is completely on full power. And I think that's going to happen one of the next two months. We will see the first red dot. Full power ahead. And then the last chart I want to share with you is about the Satoshis per US dollar. If you understand what I've been talking about the last couple of weeks a little bit more intensively, Bitcoin should be your unit of account. I keep repeating it. Bitcoin should be your unit of account. Bitcoin should be your core capital. Bitcoin should be your core currency. You know, every time I repeat this is because of this chart, for example. The amount of satoshis that you needed to buy a US dollar in the beginning was around 100 million. At the moment, you only need 2,330 satoshis to buy one US dollar. I think in the future, it will drop below 100 sets to buy a dollar. And in the very far future, maybe even below 10 sets to buy a dollar. That's why Bitcoin is a deflationary asset. You need less Bitcoins every four year cycle to buy one dollar. That is why our capital as the Bitcoin family has only been growing, because we are using Bitcoin as our unit of account as a core currency. We spend less Bitcoins to live every four year cycle. We spend less and less and less sets for our daily life. You will be spending more and more and more and more US dollars for your daily life. And that is exactly why Bitcoin should be your unit of account, should be your core currency. Don't calculate in dollars or euros. All the dollars and euros that you receive as a salary or as gifts, whatever it might be, directly convert them into Bitcoin and use Bitcoin as a unit of account. I hope you really enjoyed the charts, guys. And today I'm filming again with the Rhodes mic over here because some people told me when I'm filming with the DJI that they can only hear like really strong sounds on the right side and not on the left side or the other way around. So I'm testing now if the Rhodes is giving a better stereo sound uh, out there, guys. So let me know down below in the comments if this Rhodes mic has a better sound than the DJI mic I've been filming with the last couple of days, guys. But I hope you really enjoyed the charts, especially that drawdown charts guys how amazing are those drawdown charts showing you exactly the pullbacks that we had every bull market again and again and again we pulled back now from 49k all the way to 42k that's a nice like 20 percent correction that's not a strange correction that is a correction that is part of a huge bull market to come that is how the bull market plays. That's why I told you, be prepared for a very volatile year. Be prepared for huge pumps, also some dumps. Your emotions will start to play a role. Everyone is always thinking, nah, I can handle that shit. But the emotions always play a role, guys. Now, hmm, some more coffee. I will put it away now, guys. And then when those emotions start to play a role, I will be there to tell you again and again and again and again, zoom out in Bitcoin, zoom in that life. Try to look at a bigger picture. You should be dollar cost averaging every day into Bitcoin and not matter about the daily volatility. Bitcoin is going to go up in the next two years. We are gonna see a new all time high above 70K. We maybe are even gonna see a top above 100K. So we will all be happy 
after two years waiting for that bull market top guys don't stress on the minute charts zoom out and look at the bigger picture now let's jump into the trading tip the trading tip for the day guys is that officially the signups has opened for the trade master grand prix series 2 on bybit guys this series 2 you can win up to 2.2 million dollar usdt the only requirement that there is is that you have thousand dollar of assets on your trading account and from there you just start to trade and then you have different categories where you can win a shitload of prizes in total 2.2 million the main prize guys is also when you're the top three traders of every series and i think the top 20 of the total series they will be invited to the end of the year gala of bybit do you remember the gala i went to with my daughter in singapore with the race and everything that massive gala with a shitload of parties and a shitload of crypto people all of the influencers all of the people that you know in crypto will be at that bybit gala and you can now also be there if you start to trade the trade masters grand prix guys you can join it with a special link i have downloaded view it's a special link for the bitcoin family if you sign up with that link you will get access to the trade masters grand prix you will have the possibility of winning up to 2.2 million us dollar and yes you will have the possibility to be there on that beautiful end of the year gala together with me drinking some drinks partying all night long yes and talking again about bitcoin blockchain and life but then yes in real life guys that's a really cool competition again by bybit 2.2 million photographs sign up using the link down below and start to trade as the master to win that beautiful grand prix now let's quickly jump into the next part the travel tip for today guys if you are in thailand you need to take the night train from bangkok all the way up to chiang mai it is a beautiful adventurous experience guys yes you can take like fourth class or third class or second class or first class you can even have this private cabin that is converted into your bedroom in the evening we took the private cabin already like in 2000 Pooh, that's a very long time ago i think 2002 or 2001 somewhere we traveled the first time with that beautiful train from Bangkok to chiang mai it is a traditional train and if you have that private cabin i don't think it's that expensive i think it's like 30 to 50 euros per person and you have this private cabin they serve you the breakfast they serve you the dinner they convert your seats into a beautiful bed in the evening and while you're driving completely through Thailand from the middle of Bangkok all the way to the north you can see the most beautiful nature around you guys you can even go to the back open the door and be on this balcony and see the real beautiful nature and like without windows you know it's like an amazing experience it's really fun and then in Chiang Mai of course there's amazing things to do you can go to the Doi Su Tep a beautiful temple on the top of a hill you can also visit some caves or go to the hot water springs or visit the night market of Chiang Mai it's a beautiful place and it's a little bit cooler than the south if you get sick of the heat like on, uh, on Phuket or Bangkok you go to the north yes you can enjoy chill evenings again so that's a travel tip for today don't miss out on the night train from bangkok to chiang mai beautiful experience guys bam the educational part of course answering a question of one of the followers guys uh, today because i didn't do a real trading tip just the buy bit event that is happening i will do an educational answering of a question yesterday there was a question about that rainbow chart there was somebody pointing out did he but don't you consider that the previous um, bull market top that we didn't hit the red part because of the COVID crash yes of course you need to consider that because I told you guys yesterday maybe we only go to the light orange instead of the dark red because there's diminishing returns and this question is a valid question so my answer to your question is listen there's a big difference between a distribution top or a blow of top 2017 was a blow of top one single top crashing down again that's a blow of top 2021 was a distribution top we had one time distribution coming back second time distribution coming back so yes that COVID price could of course have been influencing the top level of bitcoin but i think the distribution top influences it more because if you get one big push you go higher then you get like two medium pushes so we went from 
3K to 60K to 30K to 69K, back to down again. So the blow of top has more power, more explosive and reaches a higher all-time high. A distribution top distributes its power, you know, its explosiveness on two tops, for example, which makes it go less higher. So indeed, this cycle, we could, of course, again go with a blow of top into the dark red area. And that would be an area above 250K. So the possibility is there, but I'm always thinking rational, a little bit defensive, always a little bit like, okay, I am happy with less results. So if we go higher, I will be even more happy. But for me, the light orange part between 113,000 and 140,000 is already a beautiful level to reach in this Bitcoin bull run. And I know, I just read a Dutch article, I think it's Cathy Wood, that said, yes, in 2030, we could even reach a $1.5 million price per Bitcoin in 2030. There is now people and companies and investors telling, hey, you could easily reach 200K in this next bull market now in 2025. All possible, guys all possible but i i tend to be more cautious 120 to 140 maybe even 160k that's a beautiful target for me that is the answer to your question thanks for asking the questions if you want me to answer another question tomorrow then please answer your question down below the news for today guys is about argentina in argentina a couple of weeks ago, it was officially announced that Bitcoin now could be used to settle contracts. And now for the first time, something really cool happened in Argentina. Because a contract, a rental agreement, was settled in Bitcoin. So a person is renting his house in Argentina now using Bitcoin. The rental agreement included Bitcoin. This is a very small news item at the moment all over the news, but I think it's a huge step when it comes to the adoption of Bitcoin as a peer-to-peer -peer cash. Because I am already renting with Bitcoin for years all over the world. I always contact the people. If I find something on Airbnb or in Facebook groups or some manager finds it for me, I will always tell them I prefer to pay in Bitcoin. And then I get into this conversation with the owner of the house that always is interested in Bitcoin. And he's like, oh, can you educate me? How would that go? And then I will just tell him, listen, if I pay you in Bitcoin in this bull market, this is going to double in price at minimum. So you're receiving way more rent at the end than you intended to receive. And most people start to understand Bitcoin and they're like, okay, you can send me Bitcoin. And like 50% of the people is like, ah, but it's so difficult to convert. And depending on which country I am, I will educate them how they can convert Bitcoin, bam, on the fly to their local currency. And then when I have educated them, they will be like, okay, now I feel very safe, let's do it. And then you know what happens? And I send them the Bitcoins. And then after a couple of days, weeks, they start to text me and they're like, hey, do you remember you sent me the Bitcoins? They went up, should I sell now? And then I start to educate them more. Then I ask them, are the Bitcoins still in your app? Yes, they are still on my app. Do you need that money at the moment? No, 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 I don't need the money. I have many rental agreements. Then I would keep that part of your portfolio in Bitcoin because we are going to go higher. And then in the end, when we near this beautiful bull market up, I will send them a tag and tell them, hey, start to sell now because we will see a crash and you can buy back later uh, cheaper again. And these people have always been thankful. And every time when I go back, for example, to Mexico, I will be able to pay with Bitcoin. When I go back here to Thailand, I will be able to pay with Bitcoin. When I go to Europe, Portugal, Spain, I will be able to pay my rent with Bitcoin. So it just takes your extra time in educating those homeowners how they could exchange Bitcoin into their local currency very quickly but also what would happen if they wouldn't change it to their local currency and if they would stay in Bitcoin, what could happen in these bull market years? That's how we solve it, guys. So it's very important what now happened in Argentina, officially in the news, that the rental agreement was signed in Bitcoin. We will see this news more and more and more all over the world because also the spot ETFs, you know, you can see BlackRock, all of these companies, it's like 11 huge companies, the 11 biggest companies, investment companies of the world, are now promoting Bitcoins on their home pages, through ads, through beautiful new commercials. They are promoting Bitcoin. Bitcoin will become this name 
that everybody will understand, everybody will hear. If you mention Bitcoin, they will be, oh yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Oh yeah, I saw an ad about it. Oh yeah, I saw a commercial about it. Oh yeah, I heard Messi talking about it. Oh yeah, Madonna owns Bitcoin. Oh yeah, you know, Bitcoin will become this common thing that doesn't sound as a scam anymore. That sounds as something that's being used by very rich people over the world and that will attract also these homeowners to start to accept Bitcoin for their rental agreement because they don't want to buy, but if they get paid Bitcoin, that's a big difference. So that was the news for the day, Argentina rental agreement set up in Bitcoin. Let's settle all rental agreements in the future in Bitcoin. Bam. The inspirational part, guys, is all about to be or not to be. People always ask me, what is the step that I need to take first to start and change my life and to get a life that I see that you are living or other people are living. You, I want to taste that part of freedom life as well. That first step is very simple, guys. You must be willing to let go of the life that you planned to receive the life that is waiting for you. That is the first step. And let go of all those plans that you made for yourself how life should be. Let go. It's impossible to plan life. It took three billion years for us to arrive where we are now. For me to create this video from my garden, upload it to YouTube and be meeting people digital all over the world, it took three billion years to arrive at this thing. Do you think we could have planned that billions years ago? Do you think we could even have planned that like 50 years ago or 20 years ago? We could not have planned this moment. I cannot plan what will happen tomorrow. Life will show me what is planned for me, will bring me what it wants to bring me. But it can only bring you what it wants to bring you if you are willing to let go of that life that you planned for yourself. Because if you start to plan your life, you start to get stuck in that hamster wheel because they fooled you that running that hamster wheel will make you achieve the goals that you planned for yourself being happy from your 65 with your pension fund and then starting to travel the world, for example. So the first step in that whole change is be willing to let go of the life that you planned. And then the second step is embrace the life that is waiting for you. Don't fear it. Whatever life throws at you, don't fear it. Embrace it, suck it up, move on because life will start to understand exactly what kind of life you would like to have. That's what we talked about yesterday. You need to visualize, manifest, you need to think, you need to dream, feel, taste the life that you really want to have. Feel the happiness. Feel the happiness. Just pretend I am now in Mexico, Playa de Carmen, on the beach. I can see all those people drinking cocktails. I feel the music, the rhythm. Oh, that's so beautiful, the sun on my face. If you start to like envision this, manifest this, it will happen at the end. But you need to take step one first. You need to be willing to let go of the life that you planned. Because even that life that you planned will not play out the way you think or want it to play out. There will always be a U-turn. There will always be this stupid thing that completely disrupts all your plans. And yes, you can choose to change life yourself now by just letting go or you will be forced to choose that change. That is of course kind of what also happened to me. First lost my mother when she's 48, then lost my father when he's 60, then a huge burnout. Life showed me, yo motherfucker, wake up, change. You don't want to end up like this. You don't want to have this boring life and die when you're 48. You don't want to have not achieved all your goals and die when you're 60. You want to change life now because else this burnout will keep coming back every time again and again and again. I was forced into make that change. Life made me change. In hindsight now, I'm like, what the fuck? Why didn't I change myself? Why didn't I see? all those possibilities and opportunities that there were in life. Why did I only stuck to that planned life that I planned for myself? School, sports, 
own company and then when I grow and bigger and bigger and bigger more employees more paying of tax bigger house and that land and that whole sick dream that was planned into my head in the schooling system that made me plan a certain life and I was completely willing to let go of that planned life life took over then I really started to live everything happened automatically yes of course we went into Bitcoin it came into the news and yes because of that of course we we're earning some bitcoins daily but I couldn't have planned that when I said okay that burnout makes me change my life now we want to travel we want to feel freedom it was not that I chose Bitcoin no because I knew that and that that was going to happen no we just chose Bitcoin at that moment because we believed more in Bitcoin than we believed in Euros. Because of my company that I had, the whole history that I had. So we were like, we are not afraid to take a risk. Let's go into Bitcoin. It feels very safe. But what all happened after that step, I could have never planned that. That just happened because we embraced it. Because even when that first television company came and said, hey, can we make a news item about that? We could also have said no. We could have blocked that complete new offer that life was offering us. We could have blocked all the media, we could have blocked everything. And then life would probably have turned out different. So whatever I had planned, it was all about what is life offering me? Do I accept it, embrace it, and let's see where the wind will take me. And that is exactly what we did. In the beginning we said, nah, we don't want too much attention, nah, it's okay. But then they kept coming and kept coming and we said let's embrace it we are the bitcoin family let's go for it and then life started to happen i hope you understand what i'm saying if you don't understand what i'm saying then please comment also down below if you do understand what i'm saying also comment down below guys that was everything for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy the video give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell also please let me know was the sound better this time is it because of this mic is it now stereo in your headphones let me know please down below so i know which mic i will use the next time when i'm recording again thank you for watching i wish you an amazing tuesday i will be back tomorrow maybe even going live with another dutch bitcoin family so that you can ask them also any question you want so just be free family maybe you know them they are also now here in thailand so we wanted to do an ama so the people in the netherlands can ask all the questions in dutch to both of our families so let me know if you would be interested in that as well thank you for watching see you tomorrow again bam